I mean, I feel like if you stay positive, positive things will happen. I feel like that's what happened at the end. Uh, earned coaches trust a little bit, and he threw me in there, and some good things happened. Now it's time to build off that and see how far we can take it. trying to go get it. Anybody are just on their grind and, and working hard and trying to and trying to take care of their people. That's all that's all we doing this for really. I mean, you know, I don't sugarcoat it. I go through problems just like anybody in everyday life. I ain't no different from nobody. I think people got a misconstrued. You're a professional athlete or an entertainer or something like that. You don't have no problems. I got problems just like everybody else. I just, I don't tweet about them. I don't Instagram about them because I don't believe in crying all the time and, and complaining, especially putting it on social media. That ain't, that ain't the place for it anyway. You know what I mean? We, I go and deal with that stuff by myself and I run by myself. But I ain't never gonna let nobody else really see me down. And life ain't about that. You know, it, different stuff come with the territory. That's, that's why it's life, man. You know what I mean? You can't be just going around all day complaining and stuff. That ain't, I ain't even, I ain't even with that, but we, we go through stuff all the time. I get down sometimes. You gotta get back up, you gotta keep pushing. Gotta keep pushing, you know what I mean? I go through stuff every day. For my family, honor and integrity. In August of 2014, Will and I, we just sat down and we wanted to figure out what could we do to benefit our family and, you know, our friends who we consider family. What could we do to, you know, get everybody jobs and, you know, uh, we want everybody to be successful. And, you know, one day he walked in the house and on his stomach, he had a tattoo on his stomach and it said PTF. So I asked him, I said, what, what's that like? What does that mean? And he said, protect the family. And uh, I said, protect the family? Hey, I said, that could be our brand. Like, we could really do something big with that. He said, you think so? I said, I know so. Like, we need to get on top of that ASAP. And he like, all right, let's get it done. Like, what we gotta do to get it done? And you know, and from then it just grew and grew. And, um, you know, we just, we stayed at it, you know, through the hard times, through the good times. You know, we just stayed at it and we just been pushing it ever since. PTF mean a lot to me. 
since since I've been coming up, I've been really trying to protect my family. So I get where Will coming up came from when he when he made this slogan. But it's more than protect the family. This man really could have been somewhere else doing whatever he did with his money or whatever he wants to. This man really encourages us to get better. He, he wants to encourage us to get better. He motivates us and he never changed. So that's really protecting the family. That's, that, that's why I'm in it. I live by this, like I will die by this. I, I got an opportunity right now to do whatever I want to do because of this man. Now that's protecting the family and that's what I'm about. Family. It was a long story, I mean, it's funny how it happened. Uh, my, my brother and my teammate, Thomas Robinson, aka T Rob, when you see this, you're going to be tripping. Um, one day, you know, we were just chilling how we usually chilling, and um, he had a tattoo on him. I think it's on like his shoulder, like. I get back shoulder area, and um, it, it had PTF on there. I like how he had it designed. You know, we always talk, so I just was like, yo, what, the, what do that stand for? You know, what, what it mean? And he was like, protect the family. I was like, yo, I like that. It, it instantly clicked with me because that's how I always viewed myself, as, you know, trying to provide for myself and, and for the people around me and my family. I, I always valued being able to provide and take care of my family and set them up for, for things great in life. Not just giving them money, but putting them in situations and giving them opportunity, opportunities to succeed in life in their own way, but using me as the tool and the outlet and my connections and, and then they branch off and, and do their own thing. So that's, that's basically what I'm trying to do with it. Um, and we just, we, we really just been rocking ever since it's not just my my immediate family, you know what I mean? Not just my immediate family, I feel it. The whole whole world can feel it. If, you, if you're a person that's working hard every day, trying to take care of your son, your daughter, your, your niece, your nephew, your mom, your brother, your grandmother, whoever it may be, you can feel it. Shout out to my brother T-Rob, love for life, you know what it is, for helping me see this vision and coming up with this stuff. You know, I love you, You're my brother, respect for life, the whole full family, because, you know, I get a lot of stuff watching them, how they move and how they how they come up with things, and it inspires me. So shout out to the, the twins, Mook and Keith, um, you know, everybody who I get inspired from, uh, Dream Chasers, Meat Mill, you know, any team that's, that's really doing positive things, perfecting their craft, Helping they helping they people out and inspiring the world. Did you put the ball in their hands? No, they used to watch me play a little bit, mm -hmm. but I wanted them to love the game itself, mm -hmm. know what they wanted to do in life. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you got parents that because they played basketball. They want the children to play basketball. But in order for your child to really excel and love something, they gotta really enjoy it themselves. You know, you can't force the child to do something, you know. But when they were little, start playing open house ball when they was young. You know, it was always a struggle when they first started. As the years progressed, it got better and better. I always watched this, went to see them play ball, you know. Stayed in the background, that's observing, you know. And watched the game get better and better as they was growing up. You Did know? you ever coach them? No. No, I'm a very hard person when it comes to coaching, you know. I'm hard on myself, so I didn't want to let my children expose that to them. Can you tell us a little bit about your career? Because you're how tall are you? I'm 6'2". Okay. Yeah. I played uh, high school ball at Baltimore City College. Um, I was a shooting guard, real skinny, you know. <laughs> I had a pretty good career. I was all Metro. Played with a lot of top guys in Baltimore. Who you know. did you play with? Any any names that we know? Michael Shaw, Mark Cooley, um, Brian Graham. Uh, 
guy from Douglas. He was one of the best. I just can't think of his name right now, but he was one of the best players around at that time. You know, and he has a lot of well-known brothers that played too. So when did you first realize that they were kind of special at basketball? Well, as the years went on, it kept getting better and better, you know, because they always had good coaching and everything. And I seen that their the fundamentals were strong, mm -hmm. you know, playing at a young age, it got, kept getting better and better. I knew when they became teenagers, but I'm having a lot of experience playing basketball. I knew they was going to be good, but I knew they had a chance to get a basketball scholarship. A lot of people didn't know who I was because I always stayed in the back. But I was very emotional, you know, because that's my children out there, you know. And I, sometimes it's hard for me to keep my composure, you know. They do something wrong. I used to get upset. They do good. I just chill back. Just let them do their thing, you know. But I watched all their games on the feet a year and loved every minute of them. What was it like being out and about in Baltimore and hearing the rumblings in a barbershop or wherever you may be of guys, you know, say, hey, you know, your son might go pro. What was that like? Well, I never thought about the NBA or anything like that. I always wanted a good education for my children because I knew education would get you a good job. If you make the NBA, God willing, you've been blessed, more power to it, you know. The odds of going to NBA is very slight, you know, so I never really thought about that, making the NBA, but I knew he had the opportunity with this talent that he had, you know. Be so so Yeah, yeah, yeah that. Oh yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Bitch, pray for us, man. <laughs> Police killing us, Slim. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, where the fuck is officer friendly at? Man, this officer don't kill me. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that, man. Fuck yo, that, fuck I ain't put my hands up, up. My shit stand down, you heard me, straight up. And I ain't no disrespect to it's nobody. It's so crazy I'm now, baby. When you see the police, man, you supposed to feel safe, man. Now, man, you fearful for your fucking life. Oh, they killing us, man. Just cause yo, we black, yo. And we fit a description, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit, man, gonna make history, man. We part of the fucking revolution, man. Hey! Hey! That's why a nigga don't take shit A lot of these niggas basic But I ain't even gonna get into that Niggas saying they fuck with me Had to turn around, they ain't had my back I made choices, get me where I'm at So how you gonna try to judge me off that? I know you feel some type of way Cause a rich homie don't look like that Same nigga I would die for Hit the stand and I lie for Thought you was my man, duck You know if your nigga gonna wake up in the morning, nigga You heard me For real, nigga Young woes out here getting active. active Out here killing for practice 40 homicides and a hundred shootings Better pray for your nigga cause you might lose him Lord. Can't even lie, this shit crazy Great. Pressure with the mud got me too faded yeah. Can't fuck with these niggas, they too faced it Can't change where I'm from cause that shit made me uh. Young woes out here getting active. active Out here killing for practice It's all for me baby, I got to leave the team GTF You got Jay up Y'all gotta stretch the ice, so we're gonna do a stretch together. Mm -hmm. You had it. I had it, that shit. That shit came in and out. In and out. I still do all the things you do. What you gonna do? 
You want to admit it? You get five people, soon somebody bump you. Wow. Like soon as like if, if, if you, know, like, you try to make your move go by him, as soon as they hit check you, you stop. And you do that, that that step back shot. You go by him and dip your shoulder by him, you go over to But that's gonna that's gonna come when you get stronger. Like he probably he in the lead, the physical. You just got learned, I was the same way you got learned how to not play so upright. Yeah, exactly. You know I, mean? I, I used to go the same way and do the same shit. When you get to the high level, you gotta learn when you hit a nigga move, you gotta get that shoulder. Yeah, back. exactly. You know, exactly. You know, the high dribble now. Even if I start up high, when I'm going into attack mode, though, I get low. They itching for reason, what makes it different? They getting paid on the block, y'all getting pictures, get crap. One nation, one got the witness, the camera, the witness, they killing no lances. But still for the sins. My man Chuck Ellis on the camera. Hey, my man. What's going on, baby? Chuck Ellis. Chuck Ellis. Uh, just trying Chuck. to get everybody right, man. Season coming up. Everybody got big years, man. My man Will going to a new situation. Starting off the year in Denver. So you got some big expectations, man. Trying to put on, man. Try to have him down here. Try to have the PT, PT, PTF family down here. You know what I mean? Ain't for the rump tournament. It ain't work out this year, but next year, definitely got to come down to Philly and put on, man. Lane makes can't tell the difference. <laughs>